Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Once again, you join me in the lovely Gran Canaria, jumping on this evening to talk about Newcastle United. And a lot of mixed opinions coming out this evening with regard to Newcastle United and costs, prices, memberships, tickets, strips, friendly games. Newcastle have announced that the friendlies starting with Hull this weekend, then the Japan trip, the Seller Cup, will all be televised. But at a fee, uh, and bearing in mind lots of people have bought memberships, bought season tickets, now being asked to pay for friendly games, uh, it hasn't gone down too well. So we'll get into all of that. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. For me, it comes down to commercials. You know, um, training ground sponsor, um, training strip sponsor. I mean, the training strip itself has come out at seven, 70 quid. You know, I think Newcastle need to get their arse in gear, to be honest. I think the, the PSR issue is a thing and it's dripping down to the fans. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, I also want to talk about Sandro Tonali. Uh, he made his first um, match appearance for Newcastle United in nine months. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about that as well. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and hit subscribe. Once again, posting pretty much every day. I checked this yesterday and only 50% of you guys who are watching are actually subscribed. So if, if half the people who watch this video subscribed, I could well be close to getting that 50,000 subscriber mark. So if you wouldn't mind, uh, it would be massively appreciated. But let's start off with something fun, exciting, uh, happy for the Toon fans. And it is, as I mentioned, Sandro Tonali played uh, his first game for the club in a very long time, since October. I think that was the last time Sandro Tonali played, or it was against um, Dortmund. That's gone by pretty quick hasn't it um eddie howe has spoken uh, very highly of sandro tonali saying Duh. like it's a new signing uh, and that he's come back fit and focused ready to play for the tune again um he was unable to play in the friendlies over in germany at the adidas it's basically all revolves around the fa being, uh, being like a registered game because there was uh, I guess an, an FA referee or an accredited referee over those Adidas games he couldn't play but because this behind closed doors friendly against Burnley yesterday which I mentioned in a video I mentioned it yesterday and said I haven't really heard anything about it strangely there's been nothing from Newcastle nothing from Burnley no one's come out and confirmed um, exact score lines the best I can find amongst the masses of people some people were saying we lost 9-1 some people are saying we won 3-0 three 3-2 three the best I can find is that um, the Times were reporting that we won 3-1 and that Sandro Tonali got some game time which uh, it sounds good to me some reports have said that Tonali actually played in the game and there was a lot of youngsters involved which Potentially makes sense. Um, obviously, Tonali wasn't a, a, able to play in the game over at Adidas. So, all, basically trying to keep him up with the squad, but without having to play everybody twice. So, Tonali will just continue to play in some behind closed doors. And I think it was reported today as well by the Chronicle um, that Newcastle are also looking to try and fit in another behind closed doors friendly, possibly against Leeds, to once again get Tonali some more game time before we get into the start of the season. He won't be able to play the first game of the season. He's not actually available to play until the 1st of September, where we play Spurs at St. James's Park. So if you think the first game of the season is going to have a big roar, wait until that game against Spurs with Tonali back. That no doubt will have a huge roar from the Newcastle fans. Uh, and as I say, very excited to see uh, what happens in the friendlies coming up shortly. The Japan ship has drifted around the corner. We've not seen any of Gordon, any of Bruno, any of Trippier. See where um, how he's involved with them being so heavily linked to leave. And very excited to see what happens with the Japan trip. And if you do want to watch the Japan games, you can do, um, but you've got to pay for them. And this is all coming out today from Newcastle United, basically saying that the, the games are televised, which, you know, I expected them to be. I thought the reason we hadn't mentioned it yet was because they were holding off, holding off, letting all of the whole tickets sell out for the away game, which they have to. Big up to all the Toon fans who are heading down there this Saturday. I won't be. Hoping to try and find it on a... Um, on a dodgy stick somewhere around here. <laughs> so maybe I don't have to pay for it either because if you do want to watch it and you're not going on Saturday, 
uh, Newcastle are actually charging 25, uh, well, it's, I think it's 4 99 for a single friendly of the six selected, and that includes the women's seller game as well. So, as I mentioned, it's Hull on Saturday, two Japan games, seller on the Friday, and then the two games for the seller cup on the Saturday, women's and men's. So that's six games. If you want to watch one of them, it's five quid. If you want to watch all of them, it's 25 quid for a non member. Uh, if you are a member, it's 15 pounds. And if you are a um, oh, sorry. Like, a, if you're a Magpie, Magpie membership, fifteen pounds. If you're a Magpie Plus, it is nine pound. But bear in mind that uh, the, the Magpie Plus membership is night is forty seven quid already. You would think they would at least throw in the friendlies as part of the membership. Like, there isn't a whole lot of like tangible, like reward from the memberships although they are saying there will be further down the line like I, I i as as a season ticket holder so i've already bought my season ticket i've then paid 10 pound to be a magpie plus and then i'm gonna have to pay another 10 pound to then also watch the friendlies as well so it just feels like the ask con just continues it's like you've paid the money to have the benefit to pay more money to then be able to, to watch it. And it's the same with the memberships. I think this is why the memberships is infuriating for so many people. If you've paid £37 for a membership or £47 for a membership, that's giving you the ability to pay again for a ticket. And bear in mind, the cheapest Newcastle ticket for the Southampton game, first game of the season, is £47. Bear in mind that I think that the season of the takeover, the category C tickets around 30 quid. So it's gone from, it went from around 30 quid to around 40 quid to 47 quid. So we've, we've our cheapest standard tickets have, ha haven't almost doubled. But they've definitely gone up by a considerable amount in just a few years. What's it going to be next year? 50, 55 quid? 60 quid? What about the other? 70 quid? Like it has considerably increased. And, and bearing in mind that... Um, the home tops this season are eighty pound. I've been saying for a long time they would be the most expensive home shirts we would have ever had. We're still waiting for the away kit, which will cost the same. The third kit, which will also cost the same. I, I was, and I will, I'll, I will, I will back that to some degree. I think the the fact that it's Adidas back again, um, the seller sponsor looks way better. The quality of the kits is better. I think I would. I've actually, not, I've not bought it. You know, I, I was going to say, um, I, I haven't. I've got a great Newcastle top collection. This one isn't a legit one. This is, um, if, well, not a fake one, but um, a score draw one. But generally speaking, I've got lots of old kits. I do go and try and buy it. All the kits every season. I haven't bought them this season. Uh, and I'm lucky enough to be on a lovely holiday today. Part of it is having to say no to stuff. And one of those things was going out and spending a whole load of money in, in the club shop because I could have easily done that as well. Could have done that instead of coming away. You know, the prices in that club shop are so high if I probably would have been able to spend the same amount. So, yeah, it's, it's understood why Newcastle fans are getting a little bit unsure as to, to the increasing costs. Um, and, and, and also the fact that the Seller Cup, the Seller Cup, which is happening in, so for transfer wise, I can understand why people get a bit edgy. The Seller Cup's just three weeks away. We haven't sold out. Well, the Seller Cup hasn't sold out. I, um, I have bought tickets for the Seller Cup. Um, £20 for the Friday I paid, £25 for the Saturday, £45 for two friendlies against two teams, one of which I had never heard of, you know? <laughs> so, and, and that includes the women's game as well. I should definitely mention that. So there is three games, 45 quid. I was gobsmacked that it wasn't at least two for 30. Um, and, and I've gone through it all there. I've just like listed it all off for you there. So you can let me know your thoughts on that down below. Because some people have said, if you can't afford it, don't pay it. Which is a point, which is a point of view, which I, I don't necessarily agree with. Because I think the idea is that not everyone can pay. And, and, and it's pricing people out of supporting their club. But I think the thing is, is you, you can blame Newcastle. And Newcastle definitely have, should have... Um, take some responsibility for it but more so I think it's the PSR stuff like if we sell so f almost £50 for a Mags Plus you know oh god my math isn't quick enough if we go and sell you know 50,000 Mags Pluses times by 50 you know that's t two and a half million uh, yeah, two and a half million pounds. That that's insane. Like that that could straight away pay for like 
um, you know, go towards a player, and, and that's just that's just the meg the memberships. That's not the tickets. That's not the, the the live streams. That's not everything else. So you can see why Newcastle are doing it. But top and bottom of it for me is why haven't we gone out and got a a training ground sponsor? Why? If Newcastle had been quicker to, 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 I think rather than reaching into the fans' pockets, they should be sorting themselves out and finding that money elsewhere. Like, like surely it's 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 better to get a training ground sponsor for I don't know five million for the year. Like straight away that allows them to potentially give all of the fans, all of the members, the the friendlies for free. And straight away, that's a big tick. That's a thank you. Instead, it's like, it's an, and, and look, as I mentioned, £80 on the strips, that was expe ex expected. I think there's going to be a whole lot of new merchandise this season that everyone's going to be excited about and everyone's going to buy. But then it just starts listing down to the point where it's like £8. It's £8 for the, for the friendly game. It's like, is it really worth the aggravation of the fans to charge eight quid? And as I've mentioned, people, they're going to have a, the, the, seller st the, the stadium for the seller, I don't think it's going to be full. Like, I would say that the money raised off the Seller Cup surely isn't as good as the um, as how bad it looks when we haven't sold out our own stadium. Bear in mind, people are chomping it to bits to get to these games, and, and we're not going to sell it out. I think we will for the, the, the league games. I think people will pay for it. It's worrying, though, as to how high that can continue to go. And I think they'll be coming for the season tickets next. I think that will sharply rise as the 10-year deal start to end. I think that will be that will be changed next. So let me know your thoughts down below on the rise in prices of Newcastle United. It's something that's been mentioned quite a lot today across social media. So I thought I would I would talk about it in this video. Um, and I and I, I am blaming Newcastle, but we're the we are the richest team in the world, and we are having to charge our fans a fiver to watch a friendly game. I just it just totally uh, baffles and bemuses me. It's it's crazy, like PSR is just the biggest um, like reversal of what it's actually meant to do. It's meant to be it's meant to help the fans by Newcastle being basically forced to charge us all of these extra things, um, or is it fine because the money at least goes towards transfers and a better training ground and improvements to the stadium, and that's another way to look at it as well. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on Sandro Tonali, him making his return to um, football with Newcastle and the thoughts on prices changes and what is clear that Newcastle need to go out and do some work on these commercials to, to try and save the, the it from dripping into the, fa the fans and taking money out of fans' pockets. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.